Hey, welcome to Cooking with Tobia. I am Chef Tobia, where I bring you recipes that are easy to prepare to help you become better cooks at home. Please know that I upload new videos every Monday at 9 a.m. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell so you'll be notified of my new uploads and live events. Please follow me on Facebook at Cooking with Tobia and on Instagram at Tobia Gartenberg. So let's begin with today's demo. pencil beans that I soaked in water overnight. I put them in a bowl with enough water to go approximately one inch above the pencil beans. You want to begin by removing the pencil beans from the water by hand, checking and making sure there's no debris in the pencil beans. You want to discard any debris and any bad pencil beans. As I'm removing the pencil beans and putting them into a separate bowl, the water is very dark and murky. This is all the dirt and debris. So this is why you want to remove the pencil beans by hand. Now, in this water, you see all the dirt and debris? This is what you don't want to pour over your pencil beans while you're using a colander. Now we're going to thoroughly rinse the pencil beans in the colander with cold water. to rinse the fat back because you don't want your beans to turn out to be extremely salty and also you may not have to add any salt in the end. Now I'm going to add an onion that I sliced into half moons. Don't worry about it being so large, believe me, they're going to cook down especially when they're boiling in the water. Now I'm going to add the garlic and dried pinto beans and I'm going to saute everything for about two to three minutes just to give the pinto beans a little color. increase the heat to high and we're going to add black pepper and we're going to add the water. I used hot water also. Now that this is beginning to come to a boil, I'm going to reduce the heat to medium and we're going to cover this and we're going to let this cook for about an hour and I'm going to stir this every 30 minutes. If I need to add a little water to this, I will. I let the water reduce tremendously because I prefer to have pinto beans with a natural thickened juice. Now I'm going to taste redundance and salt. I'm going to let this go for another 20 minutes but this definitely doesn't need any salt. I'm going to add some sugar and black pepper. The sugar is to cut the acidity down. Now I'm going to cook this for another 10 to 15 minutes or until my desired doneness. cornbread and I made some baked chicken. So I'm going to go ahead and dig in. 
and it took about an hour and 20 minutes for this to cook. And like I said, I didn't have much salt and pepper. I tasted it in here and I didn't have more salt and I gave it some pepper. you guys enjoyed this recipe please give me a thumbs up please share this video and also please subscribe if you aren't subscribed and hit the bell so you be notified of my new videos and live events please remember to live and be well let's do what we can to come together to love one another thanks for watching